innovate or die. The London Stock Exchange is Europe's largest by value of listed companies, but it knows it has to raise its game to keep up with the competition. Well, the LSC chief executive, Xavier Hollet, is a man with a mission, and he joins me now live. Mr. Hollet, thank you so much for joining us today. There's so much talk about regulation here in Brussels. Are you concerned that we either regulate too much or too little? Good morning, Francine. Um, and I was actually in Brussels yesterday discussing with senior commissioners uh, the pace of regulatory change. There's clearly a lot going on, but a lot needs to be done. Uh, and I think uh, the welcome news is that the level of coordination at the international level, in particular uh, between European uh, authorities and U.S. authorities, uh, is on the increase. And uh, uh, we're certainly hoping that the G20 process will also contribute to increase coordination between regulators so that we come out of this crisis uh, with uh, what looks like a, a global uh, financial governance system that works. But what is your outlook for the trading volumes, for example, uh, for the fourth quarter, but also for next year? And do you have to cut your prices to actually entice new customers? I think we've done that already. And uh, our recent performance uh, indicates that uh, uh, these, uh, these measures that we've taken uh, have had some effects. Uh, clearly, the um, outlook for uh, uh, trading volume uh, remains uh, quite uh, subdued, uh, and we need to see an accelerated uh, pickup in economic growth uh, to resume with uh, faster growth, uh, not just in our traditionally uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, active equity markets, but also in derivatives and fixed income markets where the London Stock Exchange uh, has a, a long-standing leadership position as well. Mr. Hollet, do you see any evidence of a sustained return of market share? Are you concerned that actually we're hearing worrying news from Europe and therefore that some of the customers prefer to go where there's more investor appetite? Well, I think in terms of market share and, uh, and the connection with um, uh, regulatory changes over the last few years, you know, we've seen that uh, the London Stock Exchange certainly in the last six months has managed to stabilize its own market share. In fact, it's, it's actually growing again. But in new areas, areas of innovation, such as, for example, uh, the MTF market, uh, dark pools, crossing networks, as we prefer to call them, uh, the LSE has also uh, of late established a leadership position on a pan-European basis. So we feel very confident about a future in that area as well. And in terms of economic growth in Europe? Uh, it's, it's obviously a bit of a cliffhanger at the moment, uh, and not just in Europe, but also in the United States. Uh, the pace of economic growth is uh, slowing down. There are uh, some continued worries and concern uh, about the uh, uh, continued overhang of debt, uh, not only uh, in corporate balance sheets, some corporate balance sheets, uh, but also at the government and sovereign level. Uh, but I think uh, the last few months uh, have uh, highlighted clearly that uh, radical steps are being taken, not only by governments, but also by corporate players, to address this debt overhang, which, of course, is best cured by this most traditional of financial vehicles, equities. So we expect more measures, more actions to be taken to reduce the debt overhang and put the markets on a much sounder footing going forward. Uh, so I'm cautiously optimistic. Uh, Mr. Rollet, I know uh, we're actually running out of time, but in 20 seconds, I know you're very um, you know, interested in climate change. How would you tell banks to invest in low-carbon emission? There's an event going on today at the LSE on that. Yes, I would invite them, if uh, they have not already sent someone, uh, to join our Capital Markets uh, Initiative this morning with Boris Johnson and uh, Greg Barker, Minister for Energy and Climate Change. Uh, there's lots going on. L London will continue to hold its position as the world's low-carbon capital and financial center. So many initiatives which will be discussed this morning, and I would invite uh, all of them to send a representative to join us. Xavier Rollet, thank you so much for joining us.